Peace of Christ to all. Uh, this is a news from Al Arabiya TV. This is a Saudi website, Saudi TV too. Actually, very well known. It is the same as Al Jazeera. And uh, I'm showing you, by the way, from here because I don't want anyone to think that we are making up the news. Or so this is a very Islamic news agency, owned by the King of Saudi Arabia himself. So what what is the news? Look, you know, read with me, please. Uh, you know, they want to make the marriage of uh, early age in the Islamic countries because the Muslim Brotherhood, they took over the parliament. But they are coming with a new law, which is, a new law, which is allowing the man to have sex with a dead wife after she died. Now, you know, we always hear news about Muslims and their madness and their stupidity and the faith of this religion and people they cannot really still still they think Islam is a religion have civil behave, civil life, civil teaching you know like imagine imagine how filthy the mentality of this religion the man after his wife is dead still he have the right to have sexual relationship with the dead women have you ever heard about having sex with dead corp dead bodies well in Islam in Islamic countries you cannot trust a Muslim to be alone with a dead body uh, you know and, and and those things by the way they uh, they, they raise other questions uh, if you see what I mean here the husband as you see in the news uh, he is permitted to have sex with his dead wife within the six hours follow her death now you know uh, maybe people they will uh, read this in news and laugh and say this is filthy this is stupid this is disgusting but it's a lot more deeper than what you think because when a human being he reached the point of making law allowed in this it means those people they are accepting this as a part of their rights remember rights law law is about right and obligation so this law in here is made to show the Muslim his right as a Muslim regarding his wife and people will not think of making or making such a law unless they are thinking about practicing such a behave like if nobody will do that anyway nobody will ask to have a permit for such a thing because nobody would do it anyway like uh, as an example you know excuse my language uh, do the Muslims need a permit to eat shit uh, they don't have a law it says you can eat shit or you cannot uh, in Islam doesn't say anywhere they cannot eat shit but it's still nobody needs such a law because nobody would do it anyway uh, but and they do not need to uh, permit to uh, drink camel urine because they practice this already uh, but in this case when you see the Muslims are coming with such a request it means this is what they want this is something is happening every day and it's not organized under the law so they want to make it legal so nobody think that if somebody is doing such a thing he is breaking the law of Allah this is something legal and this is according to the religious interpretation you see it it is under the religious interpretation what this is mean this is according to Allah and he is a prophet and what they practice and we knew that Muhammad himself he slept with dead women. He, you know, uh, Fatima bin to Asad when she died. Muhammad he slept with her, and he put his uh, shirt in the top of her. And uh, supposedly that the reason was is to make the pressure of the grave less on her, which is very funny, you know, uh, because Muhammad he did not do that with his mother. You know, his mother in the grave he can dig the grave, and sleep even with her bones, and that will make the still she is she is still a kafir. She is a mushrik. She don't believe in the God of Muhammad and Muhammad did not do that with his mother but he is doing that with a fresh brand new dead women you see fresh dead women 
And this is the point. She is still acceptable for those Muslims for sex. She did not. St she did not stink yet. She is still warm. So the Muslims they will have their sex with her. And you know, I, I don't know how, uh, how to describe how filthy, uh, 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 trashy, low class, a crime, a criminal mentality. Those who uh, uh, they follow this religion they have because imagine your wife she is dead and you are now in a stage of being sad supposedly but obviously Muslim they don't get sad when their wives dead because still they are horny they wanna screw this uh, a crop they wanna have sex with the dead person because a, a you know a, a very sad person he cannot even think about sex this is telling you that women in Islam, she is nothing but a sex toy. Even in her death, even in her death, there is no respect. And when you make such a thing as a law, uh, this is mean, uh, the whole nation is going to practice that. And you know what? This is, uh, uh, you know, something Muslims, they have no shame. They are not ashamed of. They are proud about it and it is good to go now I have a question for the Muslims what if the opposite happened if, what if the husband he died how come they want to make a law that if the woman she die the husband he can have sex with the women six after up to six hours after his her death okay what about if the man he die and the women Muslim women she is horny because it's very clear that you Muslims are nothing to do in this earth except your penis and your vagina death mean nothing to you so let us switch this the, the the case and make it upside down the opposite direction in the news it says the law will allow the man to have sex with the with his wife the dead woman uh, up to six hours after his, his de her death if the man he died can the woman she have sex with him how come the Muslims are not making a law for this why the why the law is always going in one direction in, in Islam the Muslim he can but the Muslim woman this is me the Muslim woman she cannot the Muslim woman she cannot and that explain really why in different uh, uh, hadith in Sahih Muslim let me show you it says that Muslim men and Muslim women having sex with dead bodies dead men and dead women and dead uh, animals let me show you uh, if you remember, this is a, this is a hadith from Sahih Muslim, all right, uh, and the hadith is in front of you in the Arabic the, in the Arabic version of it. It is hadith number five two five, the bo the book of menstruations, and look what it says with me uh, in the translation. Uh, our companion have said that the the penal the, the talking about the head of the penis. You know, this is Islam. Welcome to Islam. Uh, uh, has been treated a woman anus or a man's anus or an animal vagina or its anus then it is necessary to wash whether the one is being penetrated alive or dead young or old you believe it you believe it alive or dead young or old this is telling us that this is something very old you know people those Muslims they practice sex with dead crops long from the time of Muhammad and it doesn't matter really if it's a woman or a donkey or they can have sex with a donkey dead or alive read with me I'm not the one saying that read women anus a man anus an animal vagina or its anus animal vagina or its anus then it's necessary to wash whether it is to it the one is being penetrated is alive or dead young or old now I'm sure Muslims uh, they will say to you I am misquoting but do you think they can really refute this we are showing their Islamic news, their Islamic TV, their Islamic website, their Islamic hadith, their Islamic stories, their prophet even words. And you people still, still do not believe me. 
that Islam is one of the most any human religion this is a this is a religion do not belong to humanity this religion belong to any actually even animals don't do that guys have you ever heard about animals having sex with, with dead animals I don't think so I never heard of such a thing like Muslim they speak about pigs you know what uh, pigs don't do that Muslims I'm telling you pigs they do not do this you say pigs are very trashy animals they are very bad animals they are dirty animals well let me tell you the good news I never heard about a pig having sex with a, the female pig after she die but Muslim they do that so how trashy how filthy a religion can be more than Islam you know Islam should should, should deserve the highest prize of faith like we should make a prize of faith who is the most filthy person or idea in this earth I think Islam will beat everybody anyway please spread this video and tell your friends about those news and don't forget uh, that uh, Islam is great mm -hmm. this is what they say to us Obama and George Bush and those hypocrite liars who they have Antony player and uh, the crown prince of England and all those perverted filthy businessmen who care not for anything except their pocket and making money out of those Muslims make a book about Muhammad that he is the best and you will see how much money you will make make a book like me about Muhammad that he is a filthy man proving it from their own books and you will see how many death threat you will get and for sure if they can kill you they will kill you anyway Please uh, spread the video and don't forget to tell your friends about my book, The Deception of Allah, if you like to learn about Islam, and my book, variant number two, which is going to expose what it's called the scientific miracles of the Quran. I hope it's going to be out maybe in two months from now. And until then, we pray that things will be good, and uh, you guys soon you will have the, the, the book, which is going to expose all those what they call miracles about uh, Quran. Christ is Lord, Islam is false. I mean to that. With more videos soon to see.